94.3 FM. What is on that frequency in Austin? It's very much a blank signal. Hey, it's Robert from Hobby Man ZXC. I hope you're having a great afternoon. I've been contemplating, could there be a new signal in the Austin area? Not a translator, not HD hash. Could this be a workable signal? Well, all you would have to do for this signal to have a move in or a brand new channel, just like when 993 was first licensed to Thorndale back in 2003 and it stayed silent until 2005, is KJZ Thorndale Austin. What if KRVL Kerrville becomes a move in to the Austin area? Now, how would that work? It wouldn't be too hard, seeing as the only thing that would hinder it are a bunch of translators and low-power stations that shouldn't even exist at all. <laughs> There's a translator in Temple simulcasting 1400 KTEM, Temple TEM, uh, that's News Talk Station, there are not one but two low power stations that share 94.3 in southeast Austin. I'll just say east southeast Austin. And I think they're both Spanish religious. I can't remember what the call letters are. I might have an idea. You could get you get rid of those. And you, you would get rid of a 94.3 out of Wimberley. That's a low power station as well. There's a low power station on 94.1. You see what I mean? There's a lot of nothing on the 94.3 area. There are just a bunch of low power and translator stations. The 94.1 in Round Rock is just a low power station. The 94.1 out of Austin, which was interfering with it, moved to 1019 and is now ruining uh, Machia's life on 1019 out of Round Rock. It's a mess. If we get rid of all that clutter, the low power, uh, let's see, we would get rid of two and a half low power stations on 94.3, one translator, and a low power channel on 94.1. If you shut them all off, 94.3 would be clean and ready for a brand new radio station to move into Austin. Kind of like how 993, um, KJZ, which is now KOKE, it was not technically a move-in because it was just a brand new signal. It just took two years from 2003 to 2005 to sign on. What if KRVL is a move-in to Austin? Now, this may not happen, but this would be an interesting thing because I every time I put on 94.3, I'm thinking... There's no, tr there's nothing real on this signal. There's no HD hash on it. There's nothing, there's nothing really far away on it. Could Brownwood, KOXC, K, is it K, KOXC is 1013. KYOX 94.3 Deox. What, could they LMA KWBT 94.5 and be a move in? From the northwest. You could shut off. KWBT 94.5. That's another thing. That would be hindering. Mix night. There's a 94.7 in Austin. And there's a 94.5 in Waco. Why couldn't there be a 94.3. Near the Austin area. And a 94.5 out of Waco as well. Unless. KYOX. It's between KYOX and KRVL. KYOX is Brownwood, and KRVL is in Kerrville. One of them can make a move for the Waco or Temple Austin area. I, If I were a betting man and 94.3 wanted to be a viable frequency in the Austin area, by the way, I'm interested in your comments in the comment section. Let me know your opinion on this because... It drives me crazy. 
Yeah, I'm always thinking, if you shut off all these low power and translator signals that aren't even really stations, could you put a legitimate real signal on here? Could there really be, is this a new open frequency for a brand new station? Maybe Norsan can give up some of their translators that are interfering with stuff, like 98.5 is interfering with, the 98.5 translator is interfering with KRXT and KBBT. The 105.3 is interfering with KMIL 105.1, the ranch out of, Rock, uh, out of Caldwell, and Magic 105.3 out of San Antonio, and KUSJ 105.5, Hawker Heights, Belt, and Temple, Colleen. And 101.9 is just interfering with, if you want to discount the 941 that moved to 101.9 in Austin, this is a train wreck. 101.9 is being interfered with by KACQ, that's a real station. I think it's KBXT out of Franklin, Bryan College Station, and KQXT San Antonio are all being interfered with by two 101.9s. So, yeah, Norsen could ha uh, Norsen, you're welcome to probably LMA either like Kerrville or do something with a KWBT945 and shut that off and move one of the 943s and become a maybe a rim shot to like Temple, Austin, Waco area. That would be really interesting to see what they would do with that signal. Give me some shout outs in the comments. I don't know if KTFM would have to be involved in this 94.1 out of Floresville, San Antonio or KLTR, Brenham. I think Brenham is far enough away. Mainly the problems are KTFM out of San Antonio 941 and KWBT uh, out of 94.5 out of Waco. Who wants 94.3 to come in from Austin to Waco? Another a new big signal. Uh, I do. I'm Robert. I'm sorry this video took so long. Tell me.